One night, young Charlie Munger had a dream in which he met a wise ice cream man named Warren Buffett. Everyone who ate Warren Buffett's ice cream and listened to his magical ice cream making process left the ice cream man's house with bags of gold. Making a fortune with every bite had never occurred to Charlie before. But this ice cream maker was hidden in the desolate peaks of the Nepalese mountains, 4,300 meters high. For those who dreamed of wealth and success, this place was a symbol of patience and overcoming adversity. Those who tracked down this ice cream shop were strong men who, through a difficult journey, patience and determination, finally reached the door of the ice cream shop. Charlie had a burning desire to reach this magical ice cream man and suddenly found himself in the foothills of the Nepalese mountains in a cold, snowy and desolate environment. At the beginning of the climb, he was surrounded by a dozen hungry wolves. They were called snow wolves in this region because they represented the speculative forces behind the volatility and uncertainty in the financial markets. The snow wolves blocked Charlie's path and their leader, Alpha Wolf, approached Charlie. Alpha Wolf stated that the key to reaching the ice cream man was to answer the following question correctly. What is the connection between ice cream and stocks? Charlie asked, his eyes still haunted by the chilling gaze of the snow wolves. Ice cream? Charlie, thinking and using all his financial knowledge, replied. Ice cream provides a sweet treat in people's lives. Everyone has different tastes, and sometimes these preferences change over time. A person may always eat vanilla ice cream, but one day when they try chocolate ice cream, they discover a new flavor and may diversify their preferences. Stocks are also made up of different sectors and companies, each with its own unique characteristics and potential. Investors often focus on a particular sector or company and maintain this preference for the long term. However, Sometimes they discover a new investment opportunity and diversify their portfolio. This is where I point out the commonalities between ice cream and stocks. Both are about diversification. Trying different flavors of ice cream can diversify your preferences. In the same way, investors can diversify their portfolios when they discover new opportunities. Now I realize that the ice cream man actually represents an important principle in the investment world, diversification. This can reduce risk and provide a more stable return in the long run. So in both cases, trying new things and diversifying your portfolio can help you achieve better results. Charlie's answer neutralized the menacing look in the Alpha Wolf's eyes. Charlie continued on his way with his heart in his mouth. He knew that in these lonely peaks of the Nepalese mountains, more challenges awaited him to reach the ice cream man's secret. Charlie had just climbed 2,100 meters when he was intercepted by a snow lion with a white mane. This snow lion was an indomitable hunter, considered the sovereign of the mountains of Nepal, and posed Charlie a question between life and death. Ice cream analysis, flavor, and market share. What does it mean? Charlie thought for a moment and then gave this stunning answer. The ice cream industry offers a world of different flavors. For example, XYZ Ice Cream, a huge ice cream brand, may have captured a large slice of the market. This shows the importance of their market share. However, a small ice cream shop on the corner may also have captured the hearts of local customers. In this case, its market share may be small, but it is still significant. This is where the teaching of Buffett the Ice Cream Man comes in. Buffett adopts the same principle in his investments. As an investor, it is important to diversify across different stocks and sectors. This is like filling your investment portfolio with different flavors. You can also balance your portfolio by investing in stocks with different market shares, from large companies to small companies. In both cases, flavor and market share matter. As investors, we need to carefully build and diversify our portfolios. Impressed and satisfied with this answer, the Snow Lion released Charlie to continue on his way. Charlie still couldn't believe what he was experiencing, but his desire to find the truth drove him forward to find the ice cream man against all odds. As he got closer to 3900 altitude, his eyes caught the magnificent trees with branches of ice and leaves of snowflakes, which he had never seen before. 
He did not hesitate for a moment to pass through these natural wonders. But suddenly, he found himself trapped between the roots of the trees. Beneath the snowy ground, he was walking on. To give Charlie another chance, these magical trees trapped between their enormous branches asked him the following striking question. What is the link between risk management and ice cream? Charlie answered in a clear voice, despite the powerful branches wrapping around him. Let's say it's a hot summer day and you decide to have ice cream. You go to your favorite ice cream shop and order the vanilla ice cream you always prefer. However, this time the waiter offers you a new flavor with lemon instead of vanilla. This is an unexpected surprise and offers a different experience. In the investment world too, investors usually prefer a particular stock or sector and reflect it in their portfolios. However, sometimes they may encounter unexpected events. For example, an investor may be concentrated in the energy sector and if energy prices fall, their portfolio could be at great risk. Buffett, the ice cream man, emphasizes the importance of diversifying the investment portfolio and spreading risk. As in the ice cream example, investors can invest in various parts of their portfolio to be better prepared for unexpected surprises. Couchin means not sticking to a single stock or sector, and this allows you to be better prepared for frozen surprises. The ice cream man emphasizes a fundamental principle in the investment world, risk management. It is important to be prepared for the unexpected and to spread risk. After these answers, Charlie slowly freed himself from the roots surrounding his body and was gently released to the surface by these magical trees. Unable to believe his extraordinary adventure, Charlie did not even think for a moment to give up his way when he was so close to the ice cream man. He continued to walk with a last effort towards the ice cream man's house, which he could now see in the distance. This journey in the mysterious peaks of the Nepalese mountains turned into an unforgettable learning and growing adventure for Charlie. With his faith in the ice cream man's guidance on financial wisdom, Charlie stood outside the door of the ice cream man's house at an altitude of 4,300 meters. This arduous journey had opened a deep chasm between Charlie at the beginning and at the end. He knocked gently on the door of the ice cream shop. The person who opened the door was himself. He looked at Charlie with a smile and began to speak. Magic ice cream is not only a delicious dessert, Charlie, it also represents the key to success in the world of finance. Making ice cream helps us understand the basic principles of success in the financial world, both of which require attention, diversity, and love. Where does love come in? Love is an essential part of success, both in making ice cream and in the world of finance. When making ice cream, love enhances the quality and satisfaction of the flavor. Likewise, in the world of finance, love increases your faith in your investments and your commitment to your long-term goals. By the end of the story, Charlie had internalized Warren's teachings. He understood that making ice cream and succeeding in the financial world were based on similar principles. The ice cream man smiled at Charlie one last time. Charlie suddenly opened his eyes in his bed and began his story as he wrote down his dream. Will eating ice cream make you rich? <laughs>